Good evening everyone, welcome back to another video guys. If you like what I'm doing guys, like, comment, subscribe, share this video out. Cause like I said, 2024, we're not even a good, we're not even a month into the year. And phew, you can't get any more crazier than what we're doing. We're starting off the year off right. And I did a video yesterday, straight to saying the ultimatum of what Joe Biden and administration is forcing, not only Texas, but real Americans need me to get to this point. Texas is doing what they have to do to protect their citizens in their state and whatever, and protect from crime, from drugs, the human trafficking, the stuff that Joe Biden administration, the federal government is supposed to be doing. They're supposed to be protecting the border. They're supposed to be deporting people that come into this country illegally. But Joe Biden administration for almost the last three, three and a half years, it's like any and everybody just come on in, come on in, come on in. Come, come back in a few years for your court hearing and stuff, for asylum and stuff. But come on in, we're not vetting people. We don't care. Drugs have been pouring in, human trafficking has been up. It's been just a free fall at the southern border. In Texas, Governor Abbott and the, and the citizens of Texas and really every state really should be fed up with it. And now, if you haven't heard, Joe Biden's gave Texas an ultimatum if they don't surrender or give the border back to the federal uh, government today, I think at noon, something might happen. He might have to go in the force to get control of the border. Huh, good luck with that, Joe Biden. You have lost. You did this to yourself. Now, you're going to look weak. If Whatever you do, Joe Biden, it's going to be bad and history is going to damn damn you for it. Because if you're going with force, you go, you will start something. But if you don't, if you back off with a tail between your legs, you look weak as forever, old beetle man. And don't think us here or the world will notice and take, take advantage of it. As we're seeing now, countries all over the world see America is weak already. And now they see you back off with this, you back off the Texas, or if you don't go in, the really is still forced, like the federal government or the government is strong. Oh, our enemies over the world are just going to eat this up even more. World War III is damn near on the brink. Civil War is damn near on the brink. Tim Pool has been talking about basically starting the Civil War, starting on the, the divide of the nation for years. It looked like he's finally going to get something. Unfortunately, have to get to that point. But guys, like I said, I'm fighting with Texas. I'm done with the bull. It's hate that we didn't have to get to this point, almost starting a damn civil war for some action to get done on our southern border and the invasion that's been allowed to happen under Joe Biden watch. That alone should get him impeached and criminally damn charged alone. I'm giving them the crime, the bullshit he did before. This not protecting American citizens and protecting our, our great nation by letting it in from people from all over the world. Basically, military ready men, our enemies is inside our borders and our backyards now. That alone should have them in pizza locked up. But hey, that's just me. Like I said, I got some news articles here and just why this madness needs to stop when I'm Texas and all the Republican governors have Texas back as well as support from people like me, Americans like that. We're not trying to start no J6 or something. To get the Democrats fucking, they can rally up their base for the election. No, but we will protect America and we'll do the best we can to stop the madness. In this article here, a like Civil War warning grows over Texas border standoff. This is from Newsweek. Let's go over this. The conflict between the Joe Biden administration and Texas Governor Greg Abbott over the southern border has sparked some concerns about civil war. And why is it tension? Is it a tension? And, and I'm gonna say this again. If you work, are you a federal agent? If you work for Border Patrol like that, and you are following Joe Biden's orders, the word, even though they're unconstitutional orders, you may not get charged today. You may not be in trouble today. But eventually down the road, when a good guy went, aka Trump, and you get the right administration, you will be charged and you can go to jail. Guys. Do not follow the unlawful order from Joe Biden. You will be held in attempt 
for human trafficking and anything, the BS that has been allowed the last three and a half years. The people, the, men, the women, the children that have been getting killed and raped at the border, the drugs, fentanyl that have been pouring into this country. The cartels are just having a good old time back and forth between Mexico, moving people back and forth between Mexico and the United States. From all over the world, too. And you just talking about this. So we ain't talking about Mexican, we ain't talking about just South, people from South America coming through or people from Cuba. We're talking about people from Africa, from Iran, Iraq, China, Russia, from every damn country you can think of. Most of our enemy, North Korea, mil military ready men from between the age of 18 to 40. No women, no children most of the time, mostly just men. And, mo and you see a lot of men like this, not too many women or children, that means war. Simple fact. Tension between the politics, the politicians escalated this week as the Supreme Court ruled in favor of Joe Biden's decision to remove the razor wires from the southern border of Texas. So like you said, the Supreme Court ruled five to four, saying Joe Biden administration can cut the razor wires and move some of the barricades to take over so they can I could keep doing it, keep doing the job for immigration. But that Supreme Court here didn't say te Texas had to stop putting up new barriers or new razor wires. They said, yeah, you go cut it, we just, and we go right there. And they, said, they didn't tell us to stop putting it up. They just said, you can go cut it. Okay, cool. And Texas just kept putting back up more bar barriers and more razor wires. With Joe Biden administration come out and say, uh, it's not, it's still not doing nothing. You know why you're putting it up? So why are you concerned? We could put barricade and razor wire over the Capitol. But God forbid, we want to do that to our own southern border. Does that make sense, guys? Does that make sense to you? I just want you to think on this. It does not. And like I said, this shit been going crazy. Meantime, the Democrats, being some Texas rep, are urging Biden to federalize Texas National Guard to stop Greg Abbott defying court's order. So some the Democrats, not in Texas, are trying to urge Joe Biden to federalize Texas National Guard to take over. They've been put calling for it. And like I said, Biden gave Texas old momentum today. And Greg Abbott basically said, oh, we're not giving you control. I'm not answering your old momentum. So you need to do what you need to do. I'm happy to do what I have to do. Basically, the point, this has been all over X. Media, Congress, home, the Supreme Court to rule in favor of Biden administration over the state of Texas saying that the federal government can remove physical barriers at the border put in place by Texas. But at the same time, they didn't say Texas had to stop pitting up borders and stuff. But like I said, Florida, Oklahoma, Louisiana, and all these southern states are basically back in Texas with it. They're getting it too. They're getting it too. Like I said, and this is the main thing that's going on. The, the migrants, look at Chicago. Now they're mad at Texas, even though they're getting a little bit fraction of the evasion that Texas is fully getting the brunt of, of all these Arizona, California, all these southern border states like that. So now my oh now Texas and Chicago, oh they're suing the bus companies, oh they're mad at Texas and stuff like that. But you're not going after Joe Biden. The reason why all these migrants are in your cities, these migrants are in our country doing illegal illegally here. They're not asylum seekers, they are legal criminals that need to be locked up, detained, and be deported. That's all we ask for. We cannot take this. They're getting free health care, free housing and board, free food out of our food stamps, out of the American people pocket. And American people like me and you are suffering for it, but these migrants that come here illegally are getting taken care of. Sanctuary cities, you asked for this, and now you're getting a little taste of it, now you're crying. Stop this. And you Republicans in the House and in the House and Senate, you could have stopped all this if you would shut down the government and ask for 100 percent security of the border or no, not another penny for any day else. You could have stopped this. If you cows all the cave into the Democrats, they've effing demands, and we'll get and we're finally getting fed up with it. Now you want to talk about all the deals, all these border deals are dead. No, the government should be shut down right now. Shut down, it's the first chance you got, shut the government down. We won't give an inch, non-negotiation. The border is secured and closed. Otherwise, we got nothing to talk about afterwards.
that should have been a play. Civil War, hey, may may not start. Oh, Joe Biden administration, he's gonna he keep making the making America look so weak, so bad. With BS policies, Obama, Dirt, and whoever's in charge, they're screwing America over. They're screwing us over. And God damn it, I don't know what more we can do here. Stand up and stop the BS, guys. Well, what do you guys think? You think Civil War, something might happen? Good old Tim Pool been saying? Or you think it's, hey, America need to get country back? Or you think it's a good thing? Joe Biden, hey, he's doing the right thing in America and whatever the case may be. Whatever you do, like, comment, subscribe, dislike, whatever you can. Keep my eyes open up, comment, let me know how you feel. Thank you for the journey. Thank you for the ride. I'm going to be here till the wheels fall off. 2024 has been crazy, but I will be here getting the news. Like I said, if anything popped off after the deadline today, I definitely have another video out today as well. Nothing else, guys. Till the next one, 